The time has finally come. We are out here. Take a look. Take a look at all this. Look at this. Look at the cars lined up down there. I mean, people have been out here since I heard Friday, but it is week one, Cowboys versus Browns, and it is currently 7:15 on a Saturday, and the Browns don't play until 4:25 on Sunday. And there are probably, I'd say, a good hundred people, maybe, maybe a little more. Um, Muni Lot doesn't open up until I believe 6 a.m., and then the second part of the lot opens up at 8. But the Browns fans are here now, so you know we got to go down the line and get a little interaction and see what people are feeling like and ask them how long they've been coming down here. Just get the vibe for the Saturday pregame before the tailgate. So let's go get into it. I love it. Huh? Get it ready before you got to get ready. Okay, let's check it out. Let's go check it out. For the game, Buckeyes. Oh, yeah, for the Buckeyes game. Okay. So this is the pregame before the pregame with the Buckeyes being here. As you can see, nice little setup out here outside the Muni lot. So uh, let's. Uh, let, you want to do a quick interview? No. No? Why not? It's only social media. What are you scared of? You just let us see the tailgate. I'm 31. What do you mean? We got one. I mean, one victim. It's all right. Y'all want to do an interview? Yeah. Um, let me go to somebody with some energy. How was it game one and we got scared people to do an interview? It's not, I don't understand it. Let's go. Do it on TikTok. Damn, you're you. like, it should be a lineman for us. All right. Holy crap. All right, let's go. So first question, what's the earliest you've ever came to tailgate? Today, right now, at what, uh, 5.30 we got here. So he's two hours in. We got, what, how many hours till game time? Like 20 plus or something like that? All right. If you could describe a Browns fan in one word, what would it be? Loud. No, one word. Loud, energetic, and let's go. All right, that's three, <laughs> but we'll take it. <laughs> um, if you could say one thing to the Browns team right now, what would it be? Beat the fuck out of the Cowboys. Sorry, there's kids here. You're good. Sorry. You're good. How does this season feel compared to previous years? Previous years? Oh, yeah. we're winning the Super Bowl. We're Ooh, winning the Super I like Bowl. your energy, bro. We're Damn, you tall as shit. All right, and give me your best here we go brownies. Here we go, Brownies! Here we go! Let's go! Your team... Can, get these guys. What? Are we tailgating or are we just... Are we chilling here? What are we doing? I mean, the energy down here is not what it needs to be. I mean, I, I, I'm so confused. How, like, how are you going to come to a tailgate and not have the energy? It, it doesn't make sense. More Ohio State tailgate. We got the stir fry. Whipping it up a bocce style. Can we take a look? Ooh. Oh my goodness, if you could smell this through the phone right now, they got the hibachi going over here. Let's see over on this side. They got the tailgate going with the old state game. After you get that good action, come over here and get the setup. You down to do an interview? Uh, he is the one to do an interview. You want to do one? Uh, no, I'm good. No? <laughs> Why not? I don't know. I don't like why why come down if you don't want to be energetic and with it? Like I don't get it. All right, well, have fun. Have fun. We got some lame fans out here this week. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's two for two of people not being about you. You wanna do an interview? Yeah. That's what let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Bring the energy and the vibes. Like what are we talking about here? All right. Let's get it. So what's the earliest you've ever came to a tailgate? Two days before the game. When was this? Last year against the Cincinnati Bengals. Really? Was that the Thursday night game? No, it was a shut home opener. Oh, the home opener. Yeah, okay. We, we got down here around Friday around 6, 7 p.m. Wow. Okay, so what was that environment like compared to this one right now? Way, way, way much bigger. Way right bigger. at this time? Yeah, people were all the way down the street, on the bridge, ASC Division mm -hmm. game. Wow. I mean... You got the Cincinnati Bengals at home. You got the dog pump behind your back. It's, whoo, 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 let's go, yo! Yes, sir, yes, sir, baby, let's go! They're, they're, they're your person that drive past a park. I mean, the fans are out here motivating the fan. The players are amplified. They're, they're nothing like Cleveland Brown home game. Home okay. opener, week one. I mean, so So describe a Browns fan in one word. Chaotic. Love it, love it, love it. If Now, since you're so hyped up right now, if you could say something to the team right now, what would it be? You got nothing to lose. Give it all you got. Give it all you got. All your heart, all your love, 
I mean, all the marbles. This is like the Super Bowl. This is Dallas. We hate Dallas. Let's go, baby. Okay. And now give me your best. Here we go, Brownies champ. Here we go, Brownies. Here we go. Here we go, Brownies. Here we go. Let's go, baby. I appreciate you, man. Let's go. Now that's how you freaking do an interview. Shout out to my guy, man. Mini helmet. We gotta put matter of fact. Matter of fact, open that up like this. Can we set it right in the does it look good right there for down? Can you see it back yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I see a big foot in here. And what do I mean by a big foot? D hop. What? Ooh, dog pool is showing now. We gotta find somewhere to hang that up. I know he's your favorite. I know between his Nick Chubb. This dude really did the unthinkable. Who's my favorite player, chat? Yeah, Grant Delpit and Martin Emerson. So, like, follow, subscribe, shout out, and W D W Dogpool in the chat right now. Here with my man Mike, right across the street from us. We about to go check out this lovely, lovely Browns back RV. So let's go in and check it out. Ooh, it smells. Oh, oh, it smells phenomenal in here. Look at all of this. Oh, this is. How long ago was this? That was uh, two years. Ago. Okay. That downtown. That's at, that's at the, uh, the center at um, downtown Canton. Oh, okay. Centennial Plaza. It's called. Look at that. I like it. I like it. The cabinet? Yup, yeah, we got the, some legends here. Lou Groza. Oh, look at this vintage hat. Oh, wow. Mm. That was from 1964. Sheesh! Wow. That was the last time they won a championship. Yep, that was, my dad had season tickets back then. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Appreciate you letting me come in and check it out. I loved it. Look at the table. Uh, just like yours. Yeah, it like is. Ooh, oh, wow. the special wow. edition. We Brown wanted to, bags, yeah. yeah, it was a little bit, um, I wasn't going to spend 80 or whatever it was on a bottle <laughs> just <happened> yet. <laughs> <laughs> right. And we got the, we got the jerseys on the back here. Love it. So which one's face paint Mike? Is that you? That's, that's the other joke. That's the other one. Okay. 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 All right. Well, well, I'm sure I'll be seeing you a lot more often. I appreciate you letting me come in and check it out, man. No problem. Thanks buddy. Take care. Paint hey, Mike. It smells phenomenal in here. Did you cook it up? Well, yeah, that buffalo chicken dip, yes. It smells uh, good. I can smell it all the way over there. How long have you been doing this? Well, I became a season ticket holder in 2003, um, and I started tailgating in the Muni like that year. So were you just, I know 2003 wasn't the year, but 2005, were you just as excited as I was when we got Jeff Garcia? I was. I was, <laughs> was kind of happy, you know, because he was a proven quarterback. When Tim Couch was with us, he was probably one of the better quarterbacks we had had. We just did not have uh, anybody around to protect them. Yeah. You know, everyone always asks me who's my favorite Brown all the time. I'm 31. I grew up. I mean, there was Mike Vick and Tim Couch. Those were the two people that yeah. made me fall in love with football. Right, so every time nice, they man. ask, I gotta make sure I tell them Tim Couch because you know he oh, yeah. was supposed to be our Brady, right? Right, right. <laughs> all right, Mike. Thank you, we bro. We've had a lot of ups and downs. I know, right? More, Hopefully, more downs and ups, we're up now this yeah, year, though. Nice. It's Let's our time, it. baby. You see him? My, my, yeah, there he is. Let's go. Come on. You ready? You ready to shine? Oh, listen, I could go on the field right now. I know. He said he's ready to go on the field, right, go now. On the field right now. All right, get the outfit. 360. Icon. I'm not gonna lie. This might be the best outfit we got in Cleveland. What time did you get here today? What time we got in line at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. What's your hottest take for this year? How does take for this year? 
Travis Kelsey Folds most receiving yards among tight ends? Travis Kelsey Folds. Travis what? Kelsey Folds on receiving yards. David Njoku. David Njoku is going to surpass Travis Kelsey. I like that one. I like that one. Predict Watson's stats for today. Ooh, I'm going to go with my parlay. You ready for Let's that? Let's hear. Oh, lock it in. 300 passing yards. 300 passing yards. The line was one and a half total passing touchdowns. One and a half passing total touchdowns. And I think he scans one in. I think he runs. And he runs one in. So three total touchdowns on a day and 300 yards, you said? I, that's pretty much my stat line. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, give me your boldest prediction for today. You know what? I don't think this game's going to be close. I see 28-3 Cleveland. Blowout incoming, 28-3. Love that. And now, what's your biggest key to winning today? My key to victory. Yes. I think you got to get Jerome Ford involved early. Jerome Ford the ball early? I so what's your stat line for him? Are you confident in Jerome like me, or are you haters like everyone else? No, I, I like I like Jerome. I like Rome. I watch him on TikTok too. Yeah, okay. Live streamer. All right. Well, uh, dog pool. Oh, give me your. Oh, what, did, what was it? Your biggest line, key. Line for Rome. I think Rome gets in the end zone one time. 110 rushing yards. 110 rushing yards, one touchdown for Jerome Ford. Dog pool. It's been a freaking pleasure. Course, Make sure you guys stay tuned for the stuff that he got me. He brought he brought a, a, a welcome gift to the Muni lot. Like, how iconic is that? So, when y'all see him, say what's up. Good dude. Now, let's go over to his family and let's go ahead and get my man, his brother. The one who got the gear. Oh, we got. We got the got the gear on. Show him what it is. Get off the Get field. Off the field. <laughs> yes, man. You already know what time it is. All right. So what time? Oh, we right, already know what time we got here. What's your hottest take for this year? Oh, Deshaun Watson MVP. That. Okay. He's, he's gonna pop off the season. Yeah, I love it. I'm kind. You know, I think it's plus two thousand too. Twenty two hundred. So you want to lock it in? Could be good that's, odds. That's a steal. That's a steal. Um, predict Watson stat line then for today. Oh, he's going to easily throw for 350 passing yards. At least I see him running one in. Okay. A little guitar action. Oh, you're going <laughs> to You'll see it. Okay. Now, what's your boldest prediction for today? Boldest prediction? I mean, we're going to definitely come up with the W, and I think it's going to be a good, like, 28 points. Damn, your brother said the same thing, 28 to 3. So, I mean, I guess it runs in the family. And now, what's your biggest key to victory today? Key to victory is we got to get it to our key players. That is a great key. I love it. Thanks, brother. Yep. Out, hold bro? on, hold on. Oh, shit, you see the two-tone jersey, yes. chat. I think we give him a pass, number one, a little because love, a little love to you know to the visiting team. Uh, it's you a little. Know, come on. Peep Ezekiel, it though. Ezekiel Elliott, Bakai. Come on. I can. Bakai. Yeah. Valid answers, yeah. and you know what? He has more orange on than That's blue, right. and I like how he has the blue shades to correlate with the blue on the thing. So we gotta give it kicks. to him. Gotta get the kicks. Yeah. He. This might be yeah. the best. I mean, I haven't seen too much. I see another Cowboys fan down there, but this might be the best one we got so far. So we're gonna go through the same questions. What's your hottest take for this year? My hottest take. And not Dallas winning the Super Bowl, because that's not a hot take. You no. guys say that every year. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. I, I think this is um. I think our, our Browns are gonna be in the championship against Kansas City. Okay. And uh, I think this time we're gonna take it. We're I like take it. The, little payback, right? Little payback. Yeah, they always won. We should have won that one. What's your bold prediction for today's game? Today's game. Browns win by. Let's go 13. 13? Okay. And what is, or predict Watson's stat line for today. Watson's stat uh, You know he's going to throw a pick. We all know he's going to throw a pick. That's fair. Right. That's yeah. fair. We're going to give him about 240 yards. Okay. A couple touchdowns. We're going to go that. I yeah. can live with We're an interception if he throw for 340. I can live with that. Now give me your biggest key to the victory today. Biggest key. Him and Njoku hooking up like Flacco was doing. It's he was using, you gotta use the tight end. Yep. Because use the tight end. He's man is talented. David Njoku was never better than he was with Joe Flacco. Right. And that was right. throughout last year too. So that's definitely yeah. a huge key. I love that key. Yes. Thanks, Pops. Yes, I appreciate it. Y'all next, you wanna do it? Let's get it. Let's get it. Now, my man here rocking all three phases of the land, so you already know what time it is. Um, what's your hottest take of the year? Tennessee's making the playoffs. That. So you're a big Will Levis guy. Yes. 
Okay. Big Will Levis. So am I good with Calvin Ridley on my uh, fantasy team this year? Probably not. <laughs> All right. Well, RIP to that. What's your boldest prediction for today? Jerome Ford gets over 100 rushing yards. I love that. Shout out to Jerome Ford, man. He get too much hate. Predict Watson's stat line. He's having at least over 250 passing yards, but maybe a pick and two touchdowns. This dude is precise. And um, give me your bold, or your biggest key to victory today. Getting David Ajuku, give him the ball. Give him the ball. Give him the ball. I need a chief slam in my life, please. Can we get a touchdown? Appreciate it, brother. Thank you, man. Yep. How you doing? I fuck with you. I appreciate I even, it. I, I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a big Browns fan. I know you are. And, uh, you know, I checked you out, bro. With you, man. I appreciate that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I like your swag too. Hey man, thank you, brother. I like. I mean, I'm damn. Dog, I'm, no. a, I'm a real true dog. You I feel me? it. So, I'm a real true dog in the house. So, a real true dog. We gotta ask the real true dog some questions. Then. Yes, sir. What time did you get here today? Uh, 6:30. Okay. What's your hottest take for this year? Going into the thoughts. Deshaun Watson wins comeback player of the year. Okay, so we got an MVP and comeback player of the year for Watson. What's up, bro? Uh, what's your boldest prediction for today? Boldest prediction for the day. <sighs> we have two pick sixes. Ooh, bet that. Ooh, the RV going to be in shambles if yes. that happens. Okay, now predict Watson's stat line. Watson's stat line, I kind of agree with, oh boy, you have about 250 yards, two touchdowns. No, uh, he he one pick. Okay, we're good. Yeah, pick, yeah. Look, if he throw for that many, I'll yeah, give him one fine, pick. Now I need your biggest key to victory today. Uh, biggest key to victory yep. is uh, the Browns stay locked down on D, and the offense just be efficient, and we'll win. That's key to victory. That's that's, a, that's the victory. easiest key that's to it. victory. That's the key I appreciate you, big yeah. dog. Where I'll, you tailgating at? I'm everywhere. You bro. everywhere. You I'm, I'm rough dog, bro. I'm up there with Big Dog Will. Okay. Oh, so you at the? Oh, is, is Paul up there right now? Uh, I didn't see Paul yet. Okay. But I'm pretty sure he'll be up. There. Yeah. No, I would definitely check out Paul. I, right I there. see. I'm, I'm on YouTube with him, man. How you doing? Man, good, man. And we got a Flacco jerk. Oh, yeah, Damn, yeah, yeah, peep the saying. Flacco. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I really wanted to go up there and do the jersey swap and get one myself, but I was like, I ain't going up there for 100 jerseys and it'd be yeah. 5,000 people. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. No, no. Hell no. Hell yeah. You guys want to do a quick interview? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. What time did you guys get out here today? Eight last night. Eight last night? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you were kind of like, we're long with us. How far back were you? We wasn't really too far back. We probably had about like 30 cars in front of us. Well, oh. oh, so you might have been right behind me then? Yeah, we probably. I was, uh, uh, I'm not big. Where is it? Oh, you can't even see it, but I'm the big RV. But um, okay. what's your guys' boldest prediction for today? I think defense is going to play a lot, big part on our on our game. Okay. Yeah. I won't say boldest, but facts, Dallas sucks, bro. <laughs> I, I can't stand those motherfuckers, man. You're the nah. second one that say we hate Dallas. <laughs> why do we hate Dallas so much? We talk a lot of shit for somebody that haven't won anything like in 50 years. So, so they're, 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 their fans are arrogant. Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, cause we ain't won in a long time, yeah, but yeah. the arrogant, I get yeah, you with yeah, that. I get arrogant. you with that. Uh, there's a lot of fans that don't even live in Dallas. That's what bugs me. Like, America's I'm, team, right? Yeah. yeah. What's your hottest take for this year? Hottest take is probably going to be Watson finally stepping up. Okay. I, I, respect. I, I like that, I like that. Uh, Hottest take, um, Chubb, man. Chubb's gonna come out here and he's gonna beast. Man, the place is gonna go crazy yeah, when he get that first hand off. It's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. Gonna run like nothing happened. All right, give me, I, we did bullish prediction for today? Yeah, you yeah. said defense is gonna do it. All right, now I need your biggest key to victory for today. Defense. Defense? Defense. defense. Miles Garrett, Miles Garrett is gonna, he's gonna beast. He's gonna show out in the corners. The corners gotta play their part. Predict the stat line. Uh, don't freeze, oh, no. up. <laughs> Don't freeze up. Don't freeze up. Don't freeze up now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Two sacks over under. For the miles. defense? For Miles? Uh, I say I say under two sacks. Okay. So one and a half. One, one and a half. We'll, yeah, we'll yeah, take yeah, the yeah. one and a half. We'll take the one and a half. Special teams. Special teams. I think it's going to come down to special teams. Really? So are yeah. we talking Elijah Moore? Are we talking? Yeah, I think Moore is going to step up. And uh, but special teams probably was gonna win the game. All right, hey, uh, that's how I feel. If it was seeing that, must mean Dustin Hopkins' game-winning field goal. Uh, yeah. 
Could be. Yeah. Pretty much always ends in the damn field. Yeah. Could be. I appreciate you guys, man. Right, 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 nice right, to meet y'all, man. You thing, thank bro. you, bro. Thank you. Damn, we ain't even have to walk but five seconds away to keep doing it. Oh, look, it's our it's our guy. It's my guy. What's up, bro? I'm grand famous. How you feel? You're famous, bro. Look, so yesterday it was one of the only electric fans that we had. So now we got to get him on the game day and get another interview since he was so kind enough to bless us oh, yesterday. Man. We're doing it again. Yeah, we got new questions. Okay, we got new okay, questions, okay, okay. all right? What's your hottest take for this year? Hottest take. Hottest take. Um, Jerome Ford in the first four weeks is rushing for 300 yards. Jerome Ford is getting the love in the mini in the lot first today. Four weeks. Okay, in the first four too. So that's a 150, 100. I like oh it. God. What's your boldest prediction for today? For today? Yep. Um, and Joku first drive touchdown. I have a bet on it. Plus what is it? Plus 800? <laughs> Plus two, 2,900. Ooh, oh, first might, drive touchdown. I might have to get on that. I might have to get on that. Predict Watson's stat line today. Stat line. Uh, 18 for 27 for 233 yards and three touchdowns. I don't think it gets any more precise than that. Um, and give me your biggest key to victory today. Key to victory. Uh, Miles Garrett has got to get to the quarterback. Sack Dak Prescott. Bring him down. Over or under two sacks for Miles? One and a half. Over one under and one and a half. We'll go, we'll go over. He's okay. getting two or three. Okay, two I like three. it. I like it. I like it. I appreciate you. How you feeling today? I'm feeling good. You good? What time did you guys uh, get everything set up? Did it take long? We got, we got here at 5.30. Okay. And we got there yesterday at 5.30. I know I didn't get the spot that I wanted, but we ended up yeah, getting that I, spot I up in the corner. Yeah, so it's not bad. We'll, we'll live with it. We'll live. Yeah. So I'm going to go through and get some uh, more content. Oh, wait, you right next to my dog. This is the one we interviewed last year. Oh, for real? Hell yeah. So I'm going to go over here and say what's up to him. I appreciate you always doing the interview, bro. Thanks, bro. Take care. Yup. If it ain't the man with the plan, my dude up here. So guess what? I got my RV now. We in here. Remember, I told you we was gonna make it down here. Right. So you was the, you was our intro guy last year, and here he is again hey. on the damn grill. Oh, this is year 26 hey. now, right? This 25, 1999. So 24 was the last year. For 25 years. So you know I gotta. I just need a couple questions from you. Why you on the grill, real quick? What's up? What's your hottest take this year? Hey, Deshaun gonna surprise people. He get love today, he get love. Deshaun sure gonna surprise people, man, because everybody been hating on him. So he gonna finally go ahead and show that he the truth. So predict the stat line today. Today? Yup. I say you go for 250 and two touchdowns. Okay, and then give me your biggest key to victory. Defense. I'm scared. How many over under one and a half sacks? Two. Two. Over. So we're taking all Miles over. For Miles Garrett? Oh, over. Over. Okay. Over. All right. I appreciate you. I'm going to come by and stop and see you. All right. I'll be here, bro. All right, man. All I'm right. going to be here every week. So we're going to have to. Right. We're going to be here, too. All right, bro. All right. So that's so crazy. We see you. Oh, Still here from last year, since 99, doing this thing. What's up, man? How you feeling? Fuck with your work, man. Hey, you want to get a quick interview? Yeah, come on, let's let's get it. What time did you get here today? About 4 a.m. Okay, love the dedication. <laughs> What's your hottest take this year? Um, just, I, I just, if we get to the playoffs, I'm cool with that, man. Give me a nice little playoff run. No, no repeats from last year. So we got to win you, one. You win one, man. Let's, okay. let's see that second round, you know. What's your boldest prediction for today's game? Defensive touchdown. Ooh, okay, that's the, we get, that's the second time we get love for the defensive touchdown today. Predict Watson's stat line today. I give him two, 240, two touchdowns, two passing touchdowns, no interceptions, okay. no picks, no picks. That seems to be like the average of what everybody's saying. Now, give me your biggest key to victory today. Defense, baby. We at home, we got to hold it down. We get that, we we back, you know, back like last year. Keep it going. You know? In the words of Miles Garrett, we at home, we don't plan on we losing, baby. Exactly. Let's man. go. I appreciate you, brother. Hell yeah, absolutely, absolutely. What's up, bro? Yeah, I got you. I like your hoodie too. Can you take this real quick? Hell yeah, brother. It was nice to meet you, dog. I like your jersey too. What's up, man? What's up? How you feeling? Yeah, Wanna do an interview? It's up to you, yeah. It's up to you, man. I don't okay. want to pressure you. No, All right, let's get it, bro. All right. 
So, um, what time did you get here today? Well, I, I'm just walking around. Oh, just vibing? Then, yeah, then Catching leaving. a vibe? Yep. I like it, I like it. What's your hottest take for this year? Sean Watson throwing for 6,000 yards. Damn! 6,000? Okay. Boldest prediction for today? Grand Delphi, two interceptions. Say it louder for the people in the freaking front of the Muni. Grand Delphi, two interceptions. Give me your stat line for Watson. 350. Three touchdowns, no interceptions. This I, this is my type of fan right here. I ain't gonna lie to you. And give me your biggest key to victory. Defensive line needs pressure. We getting some great keys out here, man. It was nice to meet you, bro. Nice meet I appreciate you. it, bro. Thank appreciate you. It. How you feeling? Nice How to you meet feeling? you. Good. How you feeling? I'm good. Let's man. go. Let's get it. Let's How get it. Doing? I like this shirt too. Damn, you. this bitch hard. My Dukes made this, man. Oh, your Dukes made yeah. it. Plug it. Plug yeah. it. Where got you? Hey man, uh Trey Sue Creations, Tracy Dot Sue song. Yeah, she she do it up. Do yeah, it get up. a close up of this. This is fire, man. This is one of the better shirts that I this is exactly the logo that I was trying to do. That's so funny. Alright, let's get it. What's your what time did you get here today? I actually got here 11 last night. 11 last night, so we y'all better step y'all game up. Uh what's your hottest take for this year? Hottest take for this oh, year. Step aside, step aside. Uh, how to take for this year? I'll probably say, I'll probably say Judy get thirteen hundred. Ooh, if Judy get thirteen hundred, we gotta steal. Yeah, hey, <laughs> we gotta steal. What's your boldest prediction for today's game? Uh, JOK three TFLs and maybe a force fumble or a fumble recovery, either the two. Okay, earning that contract. Definitely. Predict Watson's stat line for today. Twenty for thirty, two fifty, two TDs. One rush TD. Okay, and your biggest key to victory? Uh, win the line of scrimmage, and if you can, if you can get a quick pass a game to slow down Mike in that pass rush, you win it, hundred percent. He know football. Hundred percent. Appreciate you, brother. Hey man, this this the OTC tailgate, bro. This one, this the what? This the OTC tailgate. This, oh, this the, oh, oh, this yeah, you. Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Yes, sir. So, so this home. Yeah, this home. Ah, yeah, this okay. Home. So whenever you do the spaces, you know. Yeah. Damn, it seems yeah, like a that look like uh Bob Ross. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, so you feel me? If you hey, whenever you got time, bro, just come down. Hey, yeah. and everybody gonna be here later. So okay. You know what I'm so yeah, I'm right. I'm right in the corner up there. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's uh, that's what you call it? So we up there. Alright, yeah, shout easy. out J.O. in the space, yeah. you already know, baby. <laughs> All that DJ truck. I, didn't I do you? Did I interview? Didn't I interview last yeah, year? Last year. <laughs> we got another returner from last year right here. Bully, baby. You may remember him. His favorite moment was the Baker Mayfield touchdown in Pittsburgh when it went over the head of Ben Roethlisberger at playoffs. Great moment, man. Great moment. So now we're back here, too. We got a couple questions for you. Yep. What time did you get here today? 4 a.m. We were parked here at 2 p.m. yesterday. Dedication. Yeah. What's your hottest take for this year? How does, the disrespect. The disrespect for the team on the field. No love nationally. But I got something to say. The bigger disrespect is for this Muni Lot, this tailgate experience. Cleveland is the best tailgate city in the country. Yeah, I got respect for the Bills and KC. They're good. Nothing's this big. Look at all these custom vehicles. Look at all these people waiting. The Muni Lot is the best tailgate experience in the country. And I'll put it all on that. You heard it here Come first. At me. Get your ass here at the Muni Lot if you're not here now. Predict Watson's stat line. What was that? Predict Watson's stat line. He's gonna go 21 of 29, 245 yards, two touchdowns, one pick, 57 on the ground. We gonna roll today, baby. We gonna roll. You know what's funny? You were almost accurate in your score last time. In the last video, I think you said like 28 to 0, and we that was the we Arizona crushed game. Them. Crushed them. And their last one, biggest key, beat it, uh, biggest key to victory for today. Just being confident, execution, being prepared. You know what I mean? Having chemistry, we didn't play a lot in the preseason, so we just got to trust each other. We trust each other, we get it done. We're the better team, we're the better defense. Let's use our experience and win this game. Bring it home. Bring it home Bring it to home, the boys. Baby. Hell yeah. boys. What was your name? Bully. Bully? The Troatsman. Let's go, baby. Shout out to my guy. Hey, bitch. Easy, bro. Eat hibachi. I got 10 missed calls. All my bitches mad at me. 
No, she's not. She's behind there. Drum thing in ya. Phone ring in ya. Phone ring in ya. Yeah. I saw those men turn you down on the interview yeah. earlier on Twitter. So you want to get your I'll do one. Let's I will do an interview. Yes. Shout out to my guy right hey. here. You ready? Yes, sir. What time did you get here today? I got here probably about an hour ago, hour and a half ago. So maybe like, what time we got now? It's 8.13, so maybe like 7.30. And he's already to the max right now. He's already to the max. What's your hottest take this year? My hottest take this year? Wow. Uh, I think our defense is definitely top three in the league. Okay. And we ain't two or three. Preach. Come on. What's your boldest prediction for today? Boldest prediction. Give me Browns. We're winning by 14 today. Okay. A lot of people got that feeling today. We're winning by 14. What's your prediction for Watson's stat line? Watson's stat line? Throwing, uh, let's say, 240. Two touchdowns and we'll add some rushing in there too. Okay, okay. Yeah. And last one, for, uh, biggest key to victory today. Oh man, just the just the crowd, just like the energy in the place. Like you know, like listen, we just gotta we just gotta put it together. That's it. Gotta go out there, have fun. Go out there, have fun, and win. That's and it. win. That's My it. dog. Listen, I appreciate you, man. I'll keep. Hey, the content's off. Thank you. What's up, man? Hey, you hear it? You hear a dog bark? You ain't got no choice but to turn your head. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you know he wants to do an interview if he's barking at me. All right, what time did you get? First off, peep the fit. I'm loving the fit. Like I ain't gonna and the with the OG logo. Fire. All right, what time did you get here today? Six. Six? Yeah. It's like. I mean, you still got a good spot. Yeah. So, what's your hottest take for the season? The hottest take for the season. Dude, I think Chubb comes in and dominates. Are we talking have game five, game six, and he's just gonna crush it. Like AP dominant? Oh yeah. Okay, I love it. What's your prediction for Watson's stat line today? Today? Let's say 275 and two. One to Judy and one to Joe Goose. Okay, I like that. And give me your biggest key to victory. Oh, it's always the defense. Always the defense. Love it, love it, love it. It seems to be the consensus, man. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you, brother. Thank you. All right. We are, hey, we are crushing interviews today. Oh, we got Cowboys fans. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the tailgate. Is this your first time here? I've been here before. Oh, you live here? We live like an hour from here. Oh, so how did you become a Dallas fan? I just found this out a couple years ago. My brother was a Cowboys is a Cowboys fan, uh -huh. and it's because of Tony Dorsett. Really? From Pitt, yeah. Oh, okay. He was a Pitt fan, loved Tony Dorsett. So you kind of went been... to the Cowboys, and he he's been a Cowboys fan since. So have I. So you kind of just tagging along. So I can respect that. You're not a bandwagon or nothing like that. No, no. You're like us saying that this is our year. <laughs> Browns are my second favorite team. I can respect that. Well, and my youngest boy's a Browns fan. He'll be here in a little bit. Is there any orange seeping through on their socks or anywhere? Nah, hiding? Nah, oh, we got to get orange. this man some orange. As a matter of fact, I don't even have a wristband on. I would have gave you one. Well, good luck to you guys today. Hopefully, you go home with an L. Yeah, you know, we you take one. But then you win second. Long yeah, long season. We'll see you in the championship. What up, man? How you feeling? How you feeling, big dog? How you feeling? Y'all want to do a quick interview? Oh, yeah. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. What time did y'all get here today? Shit, we got here like 7.30. Something like that. Yeah. And I feel the energy. 7.30, 7.30. Oh, I left yeah. out the house at like 5 a.m. I know that. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know that. What's your guys' hottest take for the season? Deshaun Watson going off. Deshaun Watson going off. Defense staying the same as they was oh, last year, if not improving. So what's Watson's stat line for the day? It don't matter because we win it. I, that's the best answer I heard I that. Yes, I keep it 100 with the sign. He usually start off slow in the, in the beginning of the season. You know what I'm saying? Design. Go ahead, do your thing. As long as he stay calm, as long as he stay cognitive, and he just make sure he don't put the ball in harm's way, we should be fine. Okay. So give me your biggest key to victory today. Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett. Defense. They Defense both got him on. Defense as a whole. Offensive line. That offensive is. line for sure. Oh, yeah, All right. So what's your confidence in the offensive line? How you feeling about? Jack Conklin potentially being on the left side. He playing left tackle today? I, I believe so, because Jed is ruled out. I think they're going right to look better than the Ravens offensive line the other night. <laughs> I'll just say that. I'll say that. I, can, I hope so. No, I hope so. Because that was a nightmare. Yeah, they was looking a little wild out there. But I ain't going to lie. It's the beginning of the season. No excuses. But at the same time, I think it's going to take a while for guys to jail together in all yeah. seriousness. But to his point, offensive line, that's important. Very, we got a couple important. guys out here that know they football, man. Yeah, I think the O-line going to struggle a little bit. Um, 
Dallas D-line isn't as good as it was last year, but they still got Michael Parsons yep. and they still got um, Lawrence, Lawrence, yeah. Yep. So yeah, yeah. they're going to po pose some problems, but I think, like I said, D. Watson, he's going to be smart. He's going to do what he got to do. With that said, oh, yeah. Dodgers, them boys got to worry about our our front. Yeah, for they sure. They got to worry about that front. Yeah, they do. Cause they, 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 them boys, uh uh. They hungry, bro. They, 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 not, they, uh -uh. they let up 45 points in the playoffs. I expecting blood today. Yeah, you sure. feel me? And it's Dak Prescott. No disrespect. <laughs> right? But I mean, to be Dak. fair, you know, he threw a 500 on us in that 2020 game. 500. Did we win? Did we win that game? I think we oh, did. Oh, no, I'm sorry. What no, was that we game lost we had that game. With Odell? That was Odell. That was a game. We won that game. He threw for 500 that game. We won that game. We won that game. So I'm saying Cowboys do cowboy things. Cowboys do cowboy things. So do Browns fans, but we out here and that don't matter because we killing that narrative, right? For sure. That's narrative. what I like to hear. All, all right, y'all. I'll see y'all on the video. Right, I appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. I got what up, man? Hey. What's up, bro? You, you put up in the, in the pot in the crap pot. You up, there. you up in the front? Yes, up there. Man, up there. I gotta come Appreciate check you out, man. You gotta I gotta come check, check you out. You gotta come check it. I appreciate it, bro. So you wanna do a quick interview? Sure. We just got done with Channel 5. We got it. We got it. Oh, you did? Oh, Channel 5 yeah. out here? Yeah, they, they just left. They just oh, they're right there. They're right there. Yeah. All right, so uh, what time did y'all get here? Uh, we left the house about 5 a.m. Uh, our group's from Lorraine. Okay. We came out for my birthday. This was my, my 33rd birthday. Everybody say what's up? Hey. What's up, this year? Yeah! Hey. Everybody say happy birthday to my guy, too. He just said it was happy Appreciate birthday. It. Thank you so much. So what's your hottest take for the season? My hottest take for the season? Hmm. Hottest take for the season. Uh, that Deshaun Watson should be an MVP candidate. That's like number three we heard today. <laughs> heard on that one. Yeah, we heard, heard that a lot today. Yeah. That's, a good, hey, I'm that's a good take. I'm surprised, though. Like, I thought it was going to be against the other way, but a lot of people are rocking with four right now. Well, I think the most under the most underrated thing is the kid's still only 29 years old. They want to talk about him not making his way back yet. Um, I think he's 26, of, ain't he? Or he's 27? I believe he's 29. Is he 29? I believe I could be wrong. Oh, I believe he's 29 years old. Chat GBT, what do you say? Been, he's been in the league for a minute, but speaking of Deshaun, uh, condolences to the family, to yes. Deshaun losing his father. That's a... Uh, that's sad, so um, uh, it's impressive to see that he's still choosing to play. Mm -hmm. um, so God bless the whole family, and uh, hopefully he balls out. So predict his stat line for today. His stat line? Yep. His stat line, no chub, do 270, do two tuds and an int, okay. two tuds and a pick. Okay, and give me your biggest key to victory today. Our biggest key to victory, I'm gonna relate it to this, to this dog pound, to this tailgate. It's going to be the team coming around to showing after losing his father. The biggest key to victory is them playing as a team. You got a lot of young guys out there. I like that. You got a, you got a Cowboys fans here. Cowboys fans is here. You got a lot of young guys out there. You got no Nick Chubb. So it's all going to be about them playing for each other. I like that. I like that. You want to throw one in? I say David Njoku is the key to success. As long as he catches the ball, he does what he got to do. David Njoku. Play as a team. Bring it together. Nice. Let's go. What was your guys' stat line for Watson? 250. I said two so close. Oh, oh. Two seven. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just, I was like, yeah, I was like, I was like, all right. What's y'all hottest take for the year? Is that a hot take? Layoff. Layoff. Is that a hot take? I don't think. I mean, what are we plus 500 plus to win? They, they're, they're plus. 500 to win the division this year. Yeah, plus 500 to win the division. So I'm imagining we got to be like plus 170 to go to the playoffs. I feel like. I mean, if the one thing I will say that's that's going without too much conversation. The AFC North has the hardest schedule of any division in the entire NFL, except for that Kentucky team. True. Make me sick, and they get their best quarterback back. I'm gonna throw up in my mouth. Here. Happy birthday, dog. Appreciate it, baby. Appreciate it, Jack. Appreciate it, man. I, uh, yes, sir. I'm gonna be bringing out the. I'm gonna be bringing out the big guns with the jacket. I would do in the interview. I walk behind like. <laughs> yes, sir. Ah! Let's go. How y'all feeling? David Nuzoku. <laughs> we gotta get an interview now. God dang, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. All right, what time did y'all get out here? We got here at midnight. Midnight. Okay. Midnight. midnight. Get, get, get. And I'm gonna take a shot too. Oh, we're gonna take a shot. And I'm gonna take, take a, a shot. shot. Come on. After the interview, business first. Business first. Um, what's your hottest take for today? But we need, we need four. We need four. Dude. We need four. I know we got go a lot going on right now, but we need four. Well, I got insight with four. So four. I know you hearing this. I know you seeing this. Go crazy today. The fans is rocking with you, so we need you to go crazy today. Um, boldest prediction for the season. 
We went to visit this year, boy. Oh yeah. Come on, oh, yeah. Oh, with oh, the yeah. snacks on this one. There we go. There we go, brownies. There we go. There we go, brownies. Here we go. Let's fucking go. Let's go, baby. Now give me your biggest key to victory. Defense. Biggest key to victory? Defense. What? Biggest key to victory? Defense. Let's go. Shot time. Shot time. Shot time. You want a shot? Shot time. Go Browns, baby. Go Browns. Go Browns. Go Browns. Get off the field. Get off the field. Let's go, boys. All right, I'll see y'all later. It's nice to meet y'all, man. So, damn, this jacket's fire as fuck. You like it? Yep. Yeah. 1999. I'm jealous. All right. 1999. I'm going to try not to look at this jacket. I'm fucking jealous, but this is better than probably. Best almost one you've seen today? Best one I might have seen in a long time, okay. honestly. Right. Um, What time did you guys get here today? Uh, 5.30 we got in line. Okay. What's your hottest take for the season? Oh, man. Uh, Nick Chubb comes back week six and still has 1,000 yards. Love that. Comeback player of the year incoming. Um, boldest prediction for today? Deshaun Watson, 22 of 30 for 320, two touchdowns, one rushing. We've got one nah and all positive on Deshaun Watson okay, today. Good. All positive. Good, good, good. Um, I need your, so, so since we're talking about Watson, what's the stat? Oh, you had to, I said that, didn't I? Stats. That's that Hennessy. Damn, I just drank it. What are we doing? <laughs> Biggest key to victory. Oh, uh, shut down CD Lamb. That's Love it. it. That's Love it. it. Go Brownies. Yes, sir. Look at all these. I mean, everybody is rocking something fire, though. We got the World Championship shirt. We got the 99 Brownies hoodie. Chubb right here. The hockey jersey I love. Y'all swagged out. Y'all swagged out. I like it. Where's our, uh, where's Ryan at? Remember the one that gave us the tailgate and the food? He's got to be out here, right? What section was he in? I think it was right here. Let's gotta see if we find him. There he is. I literally was looking for you. I'm like, wait, where's my dog Ryan at? I know he's gotta be here. What's up, man? How are you? Good. How you doing? Hey. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. We're we're up here. We got it. The RV's here. You're gonna have to come check it out. We're all the way. You see that big thing to the left, the tallest one? Yeah. That's me up there. Oh, we'll pop by. Yeah, so you got to come by. Absolutely. Hell yeah. It's good to see you, How man. How's you feeling? Good. How's everything going? What's up? Good, Stan, what's up with the knee, man? I'm just old, bro. That's all. Nah, I was going to say, <laughs> get, take a day off of work, man. Nah, Shit, it's, 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 old, it's the season now. <laughs> he signed with that really good. <laughs> hey! Are you right? Are you hyped today? Are you ready today? Yeah, ready. You want to do an interview today? Yeah, why not? Oh, wow. Look at that. We got him. Let's go. So day two, we're feeling a little better. The vibes are a little bit higher and he's here to redeem himself. What's your hottest take for this year? Hottest take will be Sean Watson is going to start 17 games for the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> that's, that's a hot take. That, that, that's, I, hot take. that's fair. That's fair. What's your boldest prediction for today? Today? Yep. Dante Foreman, two touchdowns. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the boldest we got today. So, predict your stat line for Watson. Predict your stat line for Watson. Stat line? Yep. I'm going to go 20 for 32, 240. Two touchdowns, one interception. Okay. And give me your biggest key to victory. Key to victory is going to be the defense. We're at home again where we have the best home field advantage in Cleveland. And Dallas ain't going to be able to handle it, man. The defense is going to rock. Miles Garrett, two sacks today. Denzel Ward interception. We're going to rock. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Go Browns, baby. Go That's, Browns. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, boss. It's game day finally, week one, Dallas versus Browns, and you already know what time it is. It's the first week of Keys to Victory. Let's get into it. Number one, set the tone. This goes without any explanation. Miles Garrett said it best. We are at home. We should not be losing. We need to come out here and set the tone for not only week one, but for the 17-week season as well. I'm looking for this defense to really come out here with their haircuts on fire, especially after letting up 45 points last year in the playoff game. And I'm expecting Deshaun Watson to sling that thing. So come out and set the tone today. Number two, manage your emotions. 
When you talk about setting the tone, obviously emotions are going to be involved, but you have to control them and maintain them because it's week one and emotions are going to be high. This goes for the fans as well. We know how we can get at the first sign of an incomplete pass or the first sign of an interception or something goes wrong. Control it, maintain it, and remember, it's week one. We got a long season ahead of us. Control those emotions. And this kind of goes hand in hand with all the other ones. Control the controllables. After you set the tone and you manage those emotions, it's now time to control the controllables. Don't worry about the uh, refs missing calls, whether it be a pass interference or a missed blocking call or whatever the case may be. Go out there, trust your preparation, and control those controllables. When the Browns execute these three things, they're coming out victorious on a week one game versus the Cowboys, 27-17, and the Muni lot is going to turn it up an even bigger notch after the game. Here we go, Brownies! Here we go! Hoo, hoo.